Imperial engineers were successful in experimenting with cloaking technology, and they notably used it in special projects. Like when Grand Admiral Matteo Batch created the TIE PH Phantom, a TIE line starfighter equipped with a cloaking device. Emperor Palpatine had a protowipe dreadnought equipped with a cloaking device undergoing at Fondor shipyards, it was destroyed by Rogue Squadron. The Executor class Star Dreadnought Terror was modified with cloaking technology, under Grand Admiral Batch's orders. Cloaking technology proved useful when Grand Admiral Thrawn returned to take command of the Empire. Thrawn was able to find a fully working cloaking device on Wayland, located in Mount Tantus. Thrawn was able equipped several of his ships with the technology, while also creating new tactical strategies in taking on the New Republic. One tactic he did was when he captured Ukio. Thrawn had cloaked cruisers slip past the planetary shield. When the Imperial II-class Star Destroyer Chimera opened fire on the shield, the cloaked cruisers would open fire on the planet as well. This tricked the natives into believing the Empire developed a new superweapon. However, it was just a ruse to fool them. Another example was when Thrawn had 22 asteroids installed with cloaking technology deployed in orbit over Coruscant. In return, it made it appear that there was over 300 asteroids in orbit, which forced the New Republic to keep the planetary shield up. In 19 Abbey, the innovation for cloaking technology resulted in the Imperial Remnant installing the computerized combat predictor aboard the Chimera under Admiral Gilad Pelian's supervision. It analyzed the data of starfighter movements, predicting the attack vector course, and how to handle the situation.